Hey folks, Mark here. Today we're going to install a ZWO electronic autofocuser on our William Optics 81mm scope. We're going to install a bracket which will hold the focus motor. We're going to remove the coarse focus knob from the scope. It's held on by two Allen screws. And then we're going to remove the focus lock screw itself here before installing the bracket. Once we install the focus motor and the bracket, we'll hook it all up and align it and then go to the ASI Air Pro program and perform a focus once we get it all assembled. So, back in action here, we have a set of SAE, which is a standard American sizing and then we have a set of metrics just in case because the units made overseas we don't know exactly what particular size it is whether it's going to be metric or SAE so we'll bring out both cases at this point we'll go ahead and we'll take a look and see what size the hex nut is on the unit itself From here it says it's a 5 64 inch hex nut and there are two of them there so we'll bring them both out and they're in there pretty tight. There we go, we got them both loose and there you go. The temperature course adjust knob comes right off. The next part is to figure out what size coupling shaft goes on this and we'll have four of them here in the box. This is what one of the shafts looked like. It has Allen screws already in it. We'll take a look at that and see what fits. Number one doesn't fit. Let's go for number two. Number two has a slightly larger diameter. Number two doesn't fit. It's a little closer. Let's go for number three. Third time's a charm. And as you can see here, it's got a spiral cut in it, just like a ham. And that way it has a bit of flexibility to it for vibration. And there we go. We've set the third one down there and it appears to fit correctly. Let's see if we have the same size Allen screw. And it feels like it's the same size. So we've got it set there. We tighten up both the Allen screws, 5 64 and we're able to adjust it. So let's go ahead and tighten those back up. Then the instructions say to install the motor itself on the flexible coupling. We're going to do that and that will fit in the shaft here. We don't want to fit it up flush, but we want to fit it up pretty close to flush. And that we won't completely tighten down because we have to align it to the mounting bracket itself. Tighten those slightly. There we go. It's not that difficult to figure it out, but before we get too tight, let me show you this here just so that you know what's going on. There's your two holes for mounting the bracket itself. Those will go like this. They'll mount to it and then the bracket itself will mount to the cross plate. This is a pretty heavy motor. It's got 11 foot-pounds of torque on it, which is more than enough to set the focus for just about any scope you want to do. 
There we go. We've got that set. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit here, looking down at it. Excuse the shiny forehead, but that's all part of the game. So we're pretty straight there. Then we have our hardware here. We can attach that. It looks like they're labeled here, EFA and EFAB. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the manual and see what those two are and we'll get it. So if we open up the manual, it gives us a small pictorial here and tells us essentially what we're doing and it gives us an indication of what screws we need to use. And it says here to secure the body to the bracket but it doesn't tell you what screws to use so apparently the information on the bag here is pretty useless let's go ahead and we'll cut these the two screws open we'll figure out if that's the correct ones for this particular application what you can do to save time is before you put the motor on you can take the screws out of the bag and check to see if they're the right size. And the ones in B don't appear to be the right size. Nope, they're not the correct ones. So let's go ahead and open up the A ones. And there are two smaller screws in the A bag, which should fit. give those a try here. It also appears that the screws in the A bag are metric. So I've got one that fits here. Let's go for two. See if that fits. And I've got two that fit. Okay, so we have the two screws that we need for mounting the bracket. We'll take those out and set them aside. And then we'll take out the focus lock from the scope itself, we're going to use that hole to lock down the bracket itself. So let's go ahead and we'll try a screw in there. Still nothing there. And I've got a screw also from the A bag that works. So I think the screws from the B bag are probably special screws for another brand. So anyway, here we go. We have our bracket here. We have our first screw. Let's see if we can mount it properly. And it's all done by touch at this point. We've got it in there and it looks like it's mounted against there. Let's go ahead and just stick the mounting screw in the focus lock nut hole. And that way we have that done and then we can go for number two screw here, mount that in there. And we'll just get them started. Make sure you pick up the right screws. There we go. So, before we get too far with that, let's go ahead and make sure we have the uh, proper size hex wrench. And believe it or not, these nuts are actually metric. And the nuts that are held on are a 3 millimeter metric. So it paid to bring out both hex wrench sets 
because obviously we have a variation in the process. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the bottom of the motor itself to the bottom of the bracket, making sure it's smooth and even, and it is. And then I'm going to use the three millimeter wrench to tighten the screws. I did see somewhere something about 15 newton meters of force. I don't know whether that's an important item or not, but I'm going to tighten it pretty tight so that it doesn't move. Additionally, in the bag came a flat washer, and I'm using that to secure the bracket so that it has a little bit more bite and it's a little bit more firm. So we're good there, we're good there. We've got a good tightness on everything and at this point it looks like we're good to go so we've got the bracket mounted we've got the motor on the bracket we've got the coupling installed now all we need to do is hook it up to the electronics and the program run it back and forth and calibrate it and then we'll be good to go